so along with applications of percent, one of the very common applications of percent is the sales tax, commission, and discount. So let's talk about sales tax. Um, let's kind of get us there by starting with this example in which it says that the sales tax on an $18,500 car is $1,665. They want to find the sales tax rate. So there's a couple of things you have to know. That is when you originally purchase something, the item costs a certain amount. There's a certain tax rate that you add on top of that. It could be 6%, 7%, any percent really. Um, and then whatever you get out of applying that tax rate, you have to add that to the price of your item. And all of you are familiar with this when you shop for anything. So what they want to know is they want to know the tax rate. Tax rate means what percentage are they charging this person. So if you really think about it, this is no different than an is of percent e equation again. What they want to know, they want to know what percent of 18,500 is 1,665. Because they're saying that is the amount that's the tax out of the 18,500. I want to know the percentage. I want to know the tax rate. So we have our is of percent sentence. So my is is 1,665. My hub is 18,500. I want to know my percent. So I'm going to take 1,665 divided by 18,500. You can go ahead and do the math, and you end up with 0 0.09. So the tax rate is 9%. And that makes some sense, because 1,665 is a small portion of 18,500. You can also kind of estimate the tax rate just by kind of looking at it. So 9% is almost 10%, so it should be almost... Um, $1,800 just by looking at it. So I'll leave the next one for you to try out. It's very similar. You have that a salesperson earns $645 for selling $4,300 worth of appliances. They want to find the commission rate. Commission rate is very much like tax rate. So um, what you're having here is you're having that a person sold $645 worth of, um, earns $645 worth of commission on a $4,300 sale. So what percent of 4,300 is 645. That's essentially what you're finding. I've done most of it for you. All you have to do is go ahead and translate it into a sentence and solve. And I will do the last problem for you in which we have that a discounted washer and dryer combo is advertised on sale for 35% off the regular price of $700. They want to find the amount of discount and the sale price. So this is a little bit more tricky, but let's look at it. So we know the, the original price is $700. We also know that there is a discount of 35%. They want to know the sale price. And that keyword sale price, that means the price after the discount. They also want to know exactly how much is the discount. So what I have is I have what is 35% of 700 and this will give me the amount of discount. It won't give me the sale price, it will just give me the discount. So in order to figure that out, I just translate it into my is of percent. I don't know my is, my of is 700. Oops, my of is 700. My percentage is 35%. So I'm going to take 700 times 35% and I'll let you go ahead and do the math on that but you're going to get 252 so that means that you're going to get a discount of $252 now we're not done because the question is also asking what is the sale price the sale price is simply going to be the original price which was $700 minus the discount which is $252 out of that you're going to get $448. So we should be able to take these questions apart into exactly what we need out of them.